Benjamin Shapiro, I looked up to you until you started condemning people. What is wrong with you? Now you are changing tones. Look here, Peterson. Listen, listen, listen. I was about to hit them with irrational facts to support the fallacy, but a terrible incident occurred to me. All right, so I- A fallacy? What are you saying? To get advice on public control, you were expected to pay your affluent counselors. Then, in order to spread misinformation, you get the list from them. That's right, indeed. And because I've been doing this for a while, don't assume that I don't know what I'm talking about. I make movies to convert anti-Israel people to pro-Israel views while you continue to praise Netanyahu. Now, when more terrorist sympathizers are applauding filthy Arabs who continue to live in open sewage, it's quite challenging. That tells me that I need to do further research. About what you've described, it seems both of us didn't even visit a Muslim or Arab country to understand their culture. So what you are doing now is beyond ignorance. That's definitely because you and I haven't visited that place at all since the Western media has been warning us like babies not to go there. Why? They are full of terrible notions and explosions. Israel is assisting the U.S. and the U.K. in their attempts to eliminate those Hamas terrorist supporters because of this. To be honest, I constantly read my own works to lift my spirits and hate Arabs and Muslims, especially liberals, for causing too much trouble in the world for the sake of their sacred religion. Are you thinking correctly? Because we continue to back Israel and ignore the slaughter, people despise us. Morgan Piers is interviewing both pro and anti-Israel individuals for a clear purpose. In the event that you are unaware of our Western personality traits, we do not even use the term P word in our speech. Uh, all right, Peterson, stop talking. I believe I should have paid closer attention to you. What do you know? I think you would be interested in my superior concept. Additionally, that's all. Um, told you, too, is, it is for my oh, you mean you're going to give Israel more accolades once again, Ben? That's pathetic. That has already been done several times, and I don't see how you're any different. Since it has already begun and the vast majority of people are supporting Hamas, you will likely realize what we were doing if you just get up and leave your seat to see how Israel's operating. What if it turns out to be the right solution to the... Look, listen, look, see, I am aware of the strategy, so you don't and I... Don't interrupt me and listen to what I have to say, okay? Oh, well, whatever. Instead, you focus too much on Israel's suffering from Hamas terrorists and then simply do your damn job kissing their butts and licking their boots to be paid. Oh, my goodness, are you unable to just carry out your assigned tasks? Um, I feel as if I am the one using their little devices to take photographs. To satisfy your egoistical voice, you are only concerned about IDF cowards murdering those filthy infants who are lying on the streets dead. As a result, several black people made fun of your wife by not- Look, I know you'd want to think differently of me, Mr. Canadian psychologist, but because of our disagreements, don't you attempt to include my family in this scheming. You will be fairly killed by my elite religious rabbis so that your head will be shared all over the world if you make fun of me in a manner that offends my Zionistic ancestry. You're the only Canadian psychologist in Canada, so if you threaten me once more or ruin my reputation, you're next. Can you read my lips? Mr. Zionist boy, I strongly advise you to refrain from interrupting me anytime I talk. The statement you just spoke is exactly what I was about to say. In your praise of Israel, its prime ministers and its people, you should have mentioned the historical origins of Hamas without using the letter P. I mentioned that since that country is recognized by 95% of nations worldwide, only the United States and a few Europeans accept the existence of Israel. Now to return to my question for you, Mr. Zionist boy, how is it possible to just bring up Hamas without using the P word when both nations are at odds at the same time. It sounds like this reactionary is contradicting itself. I believe you intended to state that Arabs provided funding for Hamas, correct? Or are you stating the reverse in an attempt to create a twist? Actually, if you take another look at what you just mentioned, you'll see that Hamas isn't always financed by Arabs. Then there is Lebanon, which is obviously too big for Israel to eradicate Hamas. Now, if you examine Israel's motive, you can clearly understand who is responsible for what and how the behemoth is planned. Israel's IDF is already causing hardship in Lebanon, yet nobody appears to care, not even- I think the main culprit is Hamas. Arabs, who incidentally, like bombing shit and living in open sewers, provided Hamas with a lot of support. Arabs are the reason Hamas exists. Remember that, Dr. Peterson, this is how Arabs are always. They now sympathize with the terrorists after being severely abused. Really? Those Arabs are correct in their brains, in my opinion. Thus, Israel's desire to invade Lebanon is explained by its repugnant cultural beliefs. After been severely battered in the past, Arabs have now come with the intention of destroying Israel. Puck. Before, Ben, you were whining that Israel would only tolerate Hamas and nothing else. Now take a look at what is happening in Lebanon. People are barely surviving without power. And why do you say that Israel is bombing Lebanon simply because of Hamas? While I fully support Israel eliminating Hamas, what about Lebanon? How? Hezbollah even participates in Israel's war against Hamas to some extent. Is there a chance that they are purging such individuals, that is, supporters of Hamas? I believe you have overlooked a crucial point I was attempting to emphasize. Hezbollah backs Hamas. That's about it. The cycle repeats when those terrorists aid Hamas terrorists. There's nothing to worry about, Dr. Peterson. It is accurate, but I was curious about the underlying reason for their assistance to Hamas. 
Israel might have terminated Hezbollah earlier if it were a real threat. Am I correct? If you are implying that Arabs should murder all Arabs, then they should do so if they continue to support Hamas. Uh, am I correct? Then teach me. The United States and the United Kingdom provide Israel with enormous backing. Therefore, why does Israel still struggle to eradicate Hamas and Hezbollah together? A few of your remarks were completely nonsensical. Indeed, I did support Hamas, but not all Arabs do. You might see that some Arabs really support Israel and do not boycott if you watched Instagram videos. Others take a turn to deny the facts, but that's a separate matter entirely. Recall the Western adage, a good Arab is a dead Arab. It's done that way. There are very few good Arabs available for execution. Ben, I really like how you complicate things by introducing fallacies into this issue. You purposefully trap me, acting as if I'm your argumentative opponent. Note that although I applaud you, your film on Israel's plan to back Hamas is a little foreboding. Ben, what if Israel is responsible for all of this? What if Hamas is being used by Benjamin, Yoav, Herzi, or all three to isolate Israel from the outside world? Above all, what the hell would Israel do to murder infants? Hold on. Is that why you're supporting Israel, Ben? Not always the case. Israel's aggressiveness against Hamas is something I support. That is all. I don't see how you're still tossing the coin about babies. For their parents, babies are human shields. Recall that Arabs are indifferent to everything and everyone because, as I said before, they were beaten. Normal Arabs. During their early years, they suffered severe beatings. Because of generational trauma, their amygdala is impacted. Their anger and lack of self-control are understandable. Therefore, Israel is carrying out its mandate by destroying their poisonous culture. You're changing the topic once again as if I won't listen to you in the future. Make sure you're afraid of Persians if you really believe that Israel despises Arabs. Israel has to exercise caution when it comes to its forces in the Middle East or else they will fail to adequately target Hamas and end up dead. Let's go back to what you stated. Why would parents use their infants as human shields while Israel just ignored it? You claim that those parents are using their own children as human shields, but I have no doubt that their intention is to protect their children. Additionally, you sound like a racist bigot who has never met an Arab before you peel yourself off and leave this world when you claim that generational trauma affects Arabs' amygdala. And why is their culture so poisonous? I'm racist. I am disseminating the information. Ask Arabs about their early years as well. Their parents severely abuse them in an attempt to man up. Examine the remarks posted by Arabs on social media. When kids are slapped or punished for discipline, they applaud. They are a group of useless beasts that repeatedly watch reels in search of some kind of gratification since they lack empathy. Just to remind you, Arabs like hitting women. Arabs like telling their youngsters to be men when they grow up by smacking them across the face. In actuality, they live in open sewage. They're illiterate jerks. That characterizes them, Dr. Peterson. If I were to give you my vital points, would you mind not interrupting me? Furthermore, why would I inquire about Arabs' early years? Arabs are undoubtedly grateful to their parents for providing for their needs. Remember that even parents may make errors these days, and it's okay. But what's really wrong is that your deep hate of Arabs makes you a racist idiot Jew who is just interested in getting your attention. Are Arabs living in open sewage, you say? Hold off till the USA intervenes. Iraq suffered greatly under the American occupation. Regarding what you mentioned, it's true that America's harsh foreign policies have left them living in open sewage. Like you, Ben, Western politicians despise Arabs and Muslims. And I'm very certain that hearing that from me alone makes you very pleased. These days, as an American, you should pay attention to how kids treat their parents. Western parents have no idea how to properly raise their own children. Adults in the West are likely encouraging children to be smacked or even murdered, by the way. Ben, you think otherwise. Many parents in the West are more willing to murder their kids and their loved ones. It is unethical for parents to murder their children, Dr. Peterson, and it's absolutely not typical. Indeed, Ben, you simply validated what I said. It's unbelievable that at this point you're really expressing the obvious. Why don't you look closely at what Israel is doing to Lebanon at the moment? If Hamas wasn't sufficient to justify Israel's extermination of around 500,000 Israelis, that would be suicide. Here's one thing, Dr. Peterson. Israel does a fantastic job keeping diplomatic ties with other nations. Israel will stand alone, I did declare. But you know, this generation has seen significant change. We can't rely on the West in the same manner every time. Everything is different now. We also do. Therefore, if you claim that things have changed, why hasn't Israel changed at all? Is Israel not a democratic nation that respects human rights? And why does Israel maintain that it is their territory while annihilating Hamas and Israel? Do you realize how foolish this appears, Ben? Yes, it is accurate. Israel was established by the United States and the United Kingdom as a legitimate state to combat terrorism in the Middle East. I recommend that you watch my videos, Dr. Peterson, since I have answered many people's questions on why they should always support Israel more. Dr. Peterson, there's a reason Israel exists, influencing Hamas's Middle Eastern goals for peace and power in addition to combating it. 
In a brilliant speech, Isaac asserted that Jews are peacemakers. Just like they rejected the Oslo Accords in the 1990s, we must trust him or else we will suffer the repercussions. Dr. Peterson, it's pretty simple to understand Israel's motivation. What more could we possibly hope for? Israel is going on the rampage by attacking P-Word and Lebanon with precise attacks. We will be labeled as terrorist sympathizers if we simply mention the name of that nation. Dr. Peterson, your chewy words are exactly correct. I believe I've had enough of fighting with you. I think it's a huge waste of time to devote my feelings to your desperate attention. I'm finished. Let me now produce videos of my whiny fanboys licking their ass and worshiping Israel. Give me watermelons, please, for heaven's sake.